Merry Christmas everyone! In this video I'll be talking about what Pokemon I think would live in the North Pole and how they would help Santa before Christmas. So if you saw my video last year I posted about Christmas Pokemon teams and so please don't be surprised if you see some of the Pokemon from that onto here. It is Santa's team after all. Obviously there is multiple jobs when it comes to helping Santa in the North Pole. Well, the first thing that should be done when Christmas is about to start. The naughty and nice list, and obviously the letters all the boys and girls would deliver to Santa. Now, Santa would have to go through a lot of letters and a lot and a lot of names to get on the naughty and nice list, so I feel like he would have a Pokemon that would allow him to write this for him. So, the first Pokemon I think would live in the North Pole in Santa's office being Smeagol. Smeagol is known for drawing marks and all that on its territory anyway, and so having a Smeagol to write different marks for if you're good or bad, as well as just writing all the different things for what the boys and girls each want. So to start, Smeagol would be the one helping with the naughty and nice list. Next one is a very similar sort of normal one, is another sort of easy kind of yes that's going to happen, is Indeedy. Indeedy obviously both being made for a butler and a maid, having it as sort of there to help Santa when it needs it, I can see it helping, as well as helping Mrs. Claus throughout the house. Indeedies would both help Smeagol with the naughty and nice list and the letters, as well as also creating and wrapping up the presents when they've finally been finished. This is because as well, Indeedy is great to help, as well as that be able to sense emotions. So I think that'd be good to help the stress of Santa and maybe even Smeagol going through all the letters. Next job is obviously the toy making, one of the most important jobs that the elves do in the North Pole. Now, obviously they would probably be most charged, they'd be working on all the toys, but there is a few Pokemon that I think would help. First one being Timber. Timber carrying the massive block of wood, it also loves to create and construct. So I would not be surprised if it wanted to participate and just help the other elves with anything it could do. However, toys aren't the only things kids get for Christmas. Because if you're bad, the next thing you'd get is coal. So, what better Pokemon to look after the coal area is the mischievous imps Impidimp, who love to cause mischief in general, so I could definitely see them trying to cause mischief by getting ready the coal for the kids. They'd probably be working well with Colossal, Carcoal, and even Roly Coley, gathering up the coal and transporting from one side of the workshop to the other. After gifts are created and packed and ready to get going, the next place it needs to be is put onto the sleigh. Now we already have Stantlers that will pull the sleigh before, pull the sleigh to Santa to travel around the world. And so, one, they would probably be able to help pack the Christmas presents. But as well, I think there'd be other Pokemon that could give that a hand. The main one I think is Crabominable. Having such big fists that it'd be able to push the heavier presents as well as be able to carry more. Although Crabominable's known for punching things and breaking things, I still think there'd be a sweet side of Crabominable pushing and helping lift all of the packages into the sleigh. Now, of course, that's most of what Santa's job is. However, what about the other little sort of things for the North Pole? These Pokemon are still important and probably would help around the workshop as it is. However, these ones would be ready to repairs for the North Pole. Anything to do with the workshop, the houses, or even getting ready the runway for Santa to travel through. I think these Pokemon would be Conkelda, Alolan Sandslash, Avalug, and Mamoswine. These Pokemon would be able to do the repairs. For example, Conkelda is known for making a type of concrete that's stronger than concrete that humans can make. So I can imagine Conkelda, if there's a fallen building or whatever, creating a much stronger concrete to hold it all in place, as well as it's strong as it is, be able to push things aside or lift things. Same with Avalug and Mamoswine, both being huge giant ice type Pokemon, being able to pull heavy loads, lift heavy equipment, and to be able to move out of the way for certain things. And finally, Alolan Sandslash, because of how thick and strong its claws are, being able to dig through the snow and ice, it could create a perfectly smooth runway for Stantlers and Santa's sleigh to fly straight through from the workshop into the sky. There is one other Pokemon that didn't really match with anything that I think would also work well with this team, being Absol. Absol is known for being able to sense danger and natural disasters before they actually hit, which is why many people call it a cursed Pokemon. However, what I think would do is I can imagine Absol running up to Santa, telling it if it's going to be a disaster before flying, such as heavy weather and much more. 
This allows Santa be, to be prepared before he takes flight. And finally, least, last but not least, the two that will keep Santa's workshop a secret. No one knows what Santa's workshop is, and in fact, we kind of need to keep it a secret. So there's two very special Pokemon will keep this done, being Abominable Snow and Alola Ninetales. Abominable Snow is known to create blizzards, create snowstorms whenever it needs to, and it hides in isolation. So I can imagine them casually walking through the North Pole, and whenever hikers get close by, it starts creating huge blizzards to hide the identity and whereabouts of Santa's workshop. Now, of course, this is dangerous for hikers and people who are traveling by, which is where an Alola Ninetales comes in. Alola Ninetales is known for taking hikers and other travelers down the mountains to safety. So, I can imagine Alola Ninetales making sure that the hikers will leave the blizzard safely and out of harm's way, without actually knowing the true identity of where's Santa's workshop. However, these are just a few of the Pokemon that could live in the North Pole and help Santa. There's many others. But I hope you enjoyed sort of my thoughts of what Pokemon. I hope you all have a great Christmas and have an amazing New Year.